Hey guys, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Canadian Pacific EMD E8A from Rapido Trains Inc. in the Action Red paint scheme. We'll also take a brief look at the Union Pacific E8A number 942 in this same video. First up though, it is disclaimer time. The pros and cons in this video do not represent my personal opinion. They attempt to be objective in nature and as such are either community opinions or facts about the model that I can represent on camera. So please don't assume that anything in this video is my personal opinion unless I state so otherwise. Additionally, it's important to note that I do not speak on behalf of Rapido Trains Inc. and am not endorsed by any company. I'm an independent reviewer and the work I do does not reflect the thoughts of any companies in question. Got it? Get it? Good. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The E8 is a passenger diesel electric locomotive built by EMD from 1949 to 1954. They crank out 2,250 horsepower from a pair of 12-cylinder 567B prime movers and ride on A1A trucks. Although these units sold well in America, Canadian Pacific was the only Canadian buyer of the model, and even then they only purchased three units in total numbered 1800 to 1802. These units were primarily used out of Montreal for Boston-bound passenger trains via the Boston and Maine, as well as on Montreal to St. John's trains. Many people think that these units saw service on the Canadian, but that's not true, owing to the fact that these units lacked dynamic brakes. While 1801 was destroyed in a wreck, 1800 and 1802 made it to Via Rail, where they remained until their retirement and scrapping. Rapido announced the EMD E8A on Christmas Day 2020, and the models showed up in two batches, the first arriving in November of 2022, and the second arriving in 2023. Rapido also took time, as they usually do, to make road name specific details on each version of the E-units. As an example, for the detail shots of these, we're going to look at both the CP Action Red version and the Union Pacific number 942. Fun fact, you can still see the 942 today at the Southern California Railway Museum, and also it was the unit that Rapido used to make the 3D scan for this run of E-units. Pretty cool. Obviously the details on both of these units are extraordinary. Rapido worked hard to make sure the details were accurate for each road name they produced, and that's what I like to see. For example, the CP units feature large grab irons on the engineer's side of the nose, while 942 does not. Also, 942 has a headlight and Mars light on the front, while 1800 has a single headlight on the nose. 942 has two horns on top of the cab and some additional grab irons, while 1800 has a three-chime horn and a Sinclair antenna. 942 also has these weird shields over the front and rear fan snow covers, but the 1800 lacks these. Also note how the CP units do not have dynamic brakes. Even on the backs of each unit, the rear headlight is in a different position depending on which part of the engine they belonged on on the prototype. Now obviously I don't have every example of an E-unit that Rapido made here, but if you're a rivet counter, I'm sure you're going to be pleased with these units as well as the other ones that Rapido made. However, of course, that's only half of it. What also matters is, do they sound good? And of course, the answer is yes. The model's onboard ESU lock sound decoder provides fantastic sounds. For this part of the video, we'll be using the 1800 as the 942 was a DC only model that I later installed a DSU lock pilot inside. But with that being said, let's get some passenger cars out and run the 1800 around the layout for a little bit.
All right, that just about does it for the EMD E8A from Rapido Trains, Inc. When these were announced, they had an MSRP of $339.95 for DCC and sound models and $229.95 for straight DC models. In my opinion, if you like E-units or if you model a railroad that used these, I would say these are a must-have. I'm very happy with the two units I got and nothing about them would stop me from buying them again. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell if you want to get more model train related content just like this showing up in your notification feed. With that being said, thank you guys once again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next review, which will be the brand new Milwaukee Road EF4 Little Joe from MTH Electric Trains. This is Raymond Hawk 6910, signing off.